one by one. Randy Briggs tracks him down. And loads him up. I had my brother help me once in a while and he goes, oh, well, we're gonna go clean up the hood. So we, that's what we call it, we call it cleaning up the hood. Trolling the back alleys of Northwest Spokane, Randy finds shopping cart after shopping cart stranded in yards, driveways, sometimes near dumpsters, discarded like yesterday's trash. People know the truck and they flag me down and then they tell me where carts are so I don't have to drive very far anymore. Grocery cart hunter isn't the kind of job you find on an application. How did you get started doing this? <laughs> it was a bet with my dad. The bet was 20 bucks. His dad said if Randy offered his services as a shopping cart wrangler, the local grocery store would hire him. Randy didn't think so. He lost the bet, but got the job. That was 1983. And then I go over there to, to the booth and check in and see if they got anything for me to pick up. And then I head out and pick up the carts. So for the better part of three decades, this 56-year-old former Army National Guardsman and one-time rent-a-cop has been the go-to guy for Albertsons and Safeway off Northwest Boulevard for tracking down shopping carts. On a good day, he'll find close to 100. So when somebody comes up to me now and they go, what are you doing with the cart? He says, you're stealing them. And I go, no, I'm not. I'm stealing them back. <laughs> he gets paid by the cart, anywhere from a buck to a buck 50. A bargain for the grocer considering a single cart costs about $100. Most I've had on my truck, I've had them cleared out to here. So what's that work out to be? That was 40. 40? That was 40. Wow. There never seems to be a shortage of work for Randy. This is the one that's most popular. Why this? Why are people taking this one more than the other ones? I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. I have not figured it out yet, but this is this is the one that's the popular. I know when people decide to move, then that's when the big ones come into effect. He jokingly refers to the bigger carts as the poor man's moving van, and they're easy to spot when you know where to look. If I can get over there, it's one right there. We missed our turn to corral that cart, but in the process of going around the block, oh, you got to be kidding me! Oh, I hate those kid carts. Because there's no place for me to put them on. I gotta come back and make them, pick them up by myself. So you, you got this one here, you got the one that's a kid's cart. Right. And it's inside their fence line. I just go get it. It's in their property. Yeah, I just go get it. Okay. Besides, I know I know the people anyways, you know, but but did you notice did you notice what they put in it? No. Let's take a look. That's why I'm saying you got to be kidding me. That kid's cart full of bricks. Randy says maybe it's meant to discourage him or simply a child's way of having fun. But one thing's for sure, it's better than having one thrown at you. I have one guy that he was so mad at me that he threw a brick at me. Yes, Randy isn't the most popular guy when confronted by a cart thief, but sometimes it goes the other way. He goes, are you sure you don't want any money? I go, yeah. Well, he with the cart, he's doing a $50 bill in the back of the truck. So like I said, I've had the good and the bad. The good has also included an abandoned box of movies. A nice little perk for the grocery cart bounty hunter to help pass the time between roundups. Randy's day job is working as a school bus attendant for Durham School Services, a job he's had for eight years now. His coworkers think it's hilarious that between shifts he drives around picking up grocery carts. Randy says the money he makes from these carts is used to maintain and fix up his truck.